Hey there, YouTube Garage. So hey, I'm uh, sitting here trying to work on my V-Dub engine block here, and I watched a video that Easy Jeezy has put on there. It's an awesome three-part video on how to full flow your your oil, uh, you know, your case for oil. Uh, you know, it's got an outflow here that's not usually on the case. So I just went ahead and did what his video said and drilled with a 916 so you can actually use the 3764 so i think it's what he goes through but i did a 916 i think bit did it by hand like he said went ahead and tapped it with this uh 3 8 npt which is a tapered pipe threader tap um and then i got this bit here this uh, 90 fitting that's going to go in there well, the purpose of my video, Easy always talks about, hey, if there's another better way or something to add, well, I'm not saying there's a better way, but I wanted to add something to his video, and the purpose of this one is just for one thing. Um, he's exactly right on the fact that these cases are so soft, and I've seen a number on the Samba where I you know, was even thinking about purchasing a case where people had tighten this thing up too tight and they crack it here and then they end up having to weld it and I just didn't want to buy a case that was welded so anyway um so when you go in here like easy said and you put your your fitting in here and you start to turn this thing it because it's a tapered bit it uh can crack the case easy it doesn't really have to go that far because it, it, the purpose of these things is to seal up the threads and the fitting really nice so as you turn it and it gets really tight here it always makes me nervous to go any further you know to get it all the way around where a fitting's gonna go you know it it, it maybe you know nine o'clock or maybe you wanted it uh, seven o'clock or whatever well it always makes me really nervous to just keep going and going and going and, and then force the issue and crack the case so what I'm doing here is I figured that as you tap this thing, this thing tapers. And so it, it makes this hole a little bit bigger, a little bit bigger as far as the thread pattern goes. And so what I've been doing is putting this back in and tapping it maybe one more little partial crank. And what it does is it just gets the threads a little bit further because the, the, mine are pretty shallow as it is. I mean, not shallow, but like a half inch and there's a, there's more room to, to play. So as I put this in here, I've already done some, so I'll, I'll try to, let me back it up here. I'll try to um, do a little more. So as I tap it and I'll come to that point where it's resist resisting the tap and that's where I'm gonna cut couple maybe quarter to half a turn there it is right there okay and then I'll back it out in my case I don't have the air on with my case right now because uh, like easy had because I'm gonna be taking this case and case and washing it out real nicely before I start my engine build but anyway bring that out there Now, when I put this fitting back in, theoretically, because it always starts in the same spot with the way the threads are, theoretically, it should go a little bit further. Let's see if it did. Yep. So by just tapping in another quarter to half a crank, it's getting this bit in a little bit farther on that taper, and now I can probably turn it a quarter or put maybe some some tape on there uh, or some uh, caulking or what do you call it uh, silicone um, you know I don't really want to get anything inside my case on my engine so I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do but anyway I thought you guys might want to see that um, just by tapping in another quarter of a turn half a turn um, you know, I just worked on it a couple times and eventually I got this thing where it was only going 
to about 12 o'clock and then I got it to three o'clock and now but this last tap that I just did with you guys it's down to six o'clock so this is exactly perfect for where I want the fitting to go all the way around now anyway thought that might be helpful give me some comments and thanks for looking at my video